This video is the first of several on what's called the exponent laws. Each exponent law is only going to work out to be a shortcut for doing longer problems. Before we actually do any problems, we need to get straight on some terminology. In this expression, 5x to the third, the 5 is called the coefficient, the x is called the base, and the 3 is the exponent. Take an expression like a squared times a to the third. One way to do this problem is to actually write out what it means. a squared means a times a. a cubed means for me to write out three more a's. Now what that gives me is a total of five a's all being multiplied together. And we know we can write that in a shorthand form as a to the fifth. Notice, all we really did was take these two a's, take these three a's that we wrote out, and we did a total by adding the 2 and the 3 together. That leads to our first exponent rule. Rule number 1 is called the product rule, and it says a to the x times a to the y equals a to the x plus y. Very important fact that these are the same letter. They are the same base, and we keep that base, and all we have to do is add the exponents together. In words, this rule says when multiplying exponential expressions with a common base, keep the base and add the exponents. So let's do some problems. x to the fifth times x to the sixth. This is perfect. It's got the same base. All we have to do is keep the base, add those exponents together. 5 plus 6 gives me 11. Now, do you need to write this step of 5 plus 6? That's up to you. If you're able to do 5 plus 6 in your head and write that down as your exponent, then that's fine. If writing out your exponent like this on that step is helpful, then you should do it. You might have more than one letter at a time, and a suggestion until you get comfortable with these rules is to rewrite your problem so that your like terms are sitting next to each other. Notice I have x here and x there. I also have y and y. So what I'd like to do is rewrite this so that my x values are sitting next to each other because they're a common base, and my y values are next to each other because they are a common base. Now I can use my rule that says multiplying with the common base keep the base and add the exponents. Same thing for the y's. When I do that, I keep the x base, I add 4 plus 3 and get 7. Keep the y base, add 6 plus 8 and get 14. You may have coefficients and you may have parentheses, but you should remember that something in parentheses next to something else in parentheses just means multiply. So I'm going to remove the parentheses and deal with putting my like variables and like terms near each other. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times 3. Those are my two coefficients. Then I took my x's and wrote them next to each other and took the y's and wrote them next to each other. Now you need to be careful about something. This y right here that doesn't have an exponent showing is understood to be y to the first. That's crucial that you write that down or at least remember it. Now when I put this together, 2 times 3 is 6. Here's my x's. Keep the base, add the exponents. On this one, keep the base, add the exponents. It is 6 plus 1, which gives me the 7. So this is a very important fact down here. You need to remember that y is the same as y to the first power. I can have multiple variables, multiple parentheses, and all this is is telling me to multiply this out. There's just more stuff I have to rewrite. So I will rewrite and put all of my coefficients in front, and then I'll come back and do the same thing with my x's, my y's, and my z's. And here's the step that's rewritten. There's all the coefficients rewritten as they are. That is a negative 4. Be sure when you rewrite, you come down with a negative 4. x's, x squared, x squared, x to the fourth, that's all of this. Your y's, all of those rewritten. Notice the y is right there just as y, but I could have just as easily written as y to the first. And then collect up your z, z to the sixth. There doesn't happen to be a z in this parenthesis, and that's okay. It just means we don't need to write anything down for that. z to the third. Now I just need to put all of this together. 3 times negative 4 times 2 is going to give me negative 24. And then group those up, and you see the answer here. All of these x's keep that base of x. Add 2 plus 2 plus 4 is what gives me 8. My y's, that is a y to the first. Add up the 5 plus 9 plus 1 gives me 15. And the z's is z to the ninth. 
Now, there's nothing that says you actually have to rewrite all of the time. If you're able to just look at this the way it is and do the exponent law in your head, you don't have to rewrite. So I look at this and see 5 times negative 2, and I'm just going to write negative 10. For my x's, x to the third, x to the fifth, keep the base, add 3 plus 5 together, gives me 8. For the y's, y to the fourth times y to the third, keep the base, add 4 plus 3 is 7. You might pencil in a little 1 on the z to remind you that when I keep this base of z, add 1 plus 2, I get 3. So that is my final answer. So it is possible to do the rules without writing down the extra steps. It's just whatever you are comfortable with. One last thing. You need to be sure that 2x to the 4th and 2 to the 4th do not mean the same thing. In this expression, 2 is a coefficient. The base is your x. So to do 2x to the 4th times 5x to the 2nd, 2 and 5 are the coefficients. They are plain old numbers. Plain old 2 times plain old 5 gives us the 10. The exponent law pertains to the x's because that's where your exponent is. x to the fourth times x squared. Keep the base of x and add the exponents. Sometimes students get confused when they look at this 2 to the fourth because it's a number they think it's a coefficient. It is not. In this case, 2 is your base. The exponent law will say 2 to the fourth times 2 to the fifth. Keep the base and add the exponents. So keep the base of 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. You're going to be tempted, because these are numbers, to think like they're coefficients and get 4 to the ninth. It is not 4 to the ninth for two reasons. One is the rule says keep the base. But the bigger reason goes back to what we did in the very beginning. 2 to the 4th means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the 5th means all of those 2's written out. And when you look at what you have, you have a bunch of 2's written out. You don't have any 4's, you have specifically 9 2's written out. So don't get those confused. That is a base this time. In this case, that is a coefficient.